So today I thought I'd do a <coughs> P997 experience, a Porsche 997 experience, uh, showing you the car, showing you uh, all the little details of the car, and uh, hopefully this video will turn out all right. Uh, let's get into it. Now. So I hope you enjoyed the um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, just a little bit of a 
Let's call it a 997 experience. That's what I called it at the beginning. So I'll, I'll, that'll be the title of this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, the 997 is a great car. You've heard me talk about it before. Uh, if this is one of the first videos you've seen of mine, well, check out some of my other videos because there's lots, uh, lots of videos on the Porsche um, 911 generation 997. Um, but I guess I just wanted to film those little things today because uh, I was inspired by another video on YouTube actually. I'm not going to say it's my, uh, my idea, but I was inspired by an old video on YouTube so, uh, of a 964. But if you're thinking about buying a Porsche 911, uh, I, would, I would recommend the 997. And as I've said in previous videos, I would not be turned off by a 0.1. Uh, this is a 0.1. Uh, point one or point two, generation one or generation two. Uh, obviously, the generation one has the whole sat nav and a few engine issues, which uh, have been rectified in later models of the 997.1. But yeah, um, so that's about it for today. I'm going to leave the video on while I'm driving back uh, towards where I live, and. Uh, if you haven't uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already uh, please hit the subscribe button also if you turn on notifications you'll get a notification when I post videos there will be more videos coming uh, I apologize to uh, everyone who subscribes to my channel I haven't been posting since I've been back in Sydney uh, I've been a little bit ill uh, so I haven't really been driving that much uh, except in traffic to the doctor so uh, not very exciting uh, but all good now but uh, unfortunately only a week or so left here so not much time so this trip has not worked out so well for me but anyway it's good to get back in the 997 and it's good to drive it again you know the more I drive this car the more I realize how fantastic it is um, then again driving in city traffic if it's really uh, heavy that's another story but Oh, the one thing that uh, if you watch my last video I was going on about um, when I first got back to Sydney I was going on about uh, the battery issues that I had with the car um, thank you for all the uh, advice uh, that you guys gave me in comments and uh, private messages um, what I did was is I put the car on the um, battery tender for a few days when I was ill and I couldn't really drive just to see if the battery tender was going through its right stages uh, it's the Porsche it's basically the Porsche battery tender, but it's a SeaTech one. Uh, I know a lot of you said you had them fail. Uh, I don't think it's failed. I think what it was is the connection to the cigarette lighter when I left. And I had a funny feeling about this. Uh, it's all school zones here because it's uh, school time, so you can't go any faster than 40 kilometers an hour. Um, I think what it was, it was the connection from the cigarette lighter to the SeaTech charger, which I thought was a little bit dodgy when I first connected the car when I left last time. Um, I played around with it and I left it on the charger for a few days on the trickle charger. And when I came back to the car, it had gone through all the stages and it was pretty much, you know, um, pulse mode or whatever. So no errors came up, car started straight away. I've left the car on and off for a couple of days without being on a tenderer. Uh, it seems to be all fine now. So I did actually have a booking to get a new battery. Uh, I canceled that. I'm going to leave that until uh, the next service in January and I'm going to get the battery replaced at the service. I'm not going to worry about it now because it still, um, still seems to be okay. In saying that, when I come back from London uh, in December, Hopefully the car starts and everything's okay. So that uh, will keep you updated on that one. But in all, all in all, it's it's fine now. There's no problem. Um, yeah, so that's just a bit of an update from the last video. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for all the support. Uh, this is a bit of an odd video, I guess. I don't know how it's going to go when I start editing it. Uh, I've also got a new MacBook Pro as well. so. I've updated to a new version of Final Cut, uh, Final Cut Pro X, so hopefully I'll be able to work it out. I don't think it's changed that much. 
Uh, but I'll try and update this video for you guys as soon as possible. Hopefully you'll see this before the weekend. Uh, but uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And uh, until next time, thanks. Bye.